This Saturday, the 4-1 Montana State Bobcats are at home to take on the 1-4 Cal Poly Mustangs at 2 p.m. This week, MTN Sports sat down with Nick Wilson of the San Luis Obispo Tribune to give Bobcat fans an insight on the Mustangs. Cal Poly, like Montana State, has a new head coach this season in Bo Baldwin. He has a pretty good resume. I mean, we won a national championship at uh, Eastern Washington. He has some, some great um, knowledge of the game. And I think it's just going to take probably a couple years for him to really get his program to the place he wants it to be in. Baldwin has implemented a pass first offense for the Mustangs. He'll spread it out. He'll uh, throw it to his back. So have some slants. So have some deep balls. I mean, I think he really wants to, to mix it up. Redshirt sophomore transfer quarterback Spencer Brash followed Baldwin from Cal. He was the opening day starter for the Mustangs. However, he would injure his hand. It's been a juggling act for who would replace him as three quarterbacks have played since. So it's a good opportunity for some of these young guys to showcase them, their skills, but I'm sure it's not what Coach Baldwin had in mind for at this point in the season, having to go with like a third or fourth string quarterback. Injuries to their quarterbacks and averaging 47.8 yards per game rushing, which is 119th in the FCS, can be attributed to their poor offensive line play. Now it's probably something they need to get better at, just as, a, as one of their key areas of improvement that they'll need is, is blocking up front. One player who can make an impact for the Mustangs is senior linebacker Matt Shotwell. He's ranked number 15 in Cal Poly history for tackles. Definitely, well, probably blitz from time to time and kind of get some pressure on the quarterback. As for his prediction of the game where Montana State is favored by 29 points. Best case scenario for Cal Poly 34-24 Montana State. In Bozeman, John Miller, MTN Sports.